Hello, my name is Jean Robinson and I'm from St John the Baptist Church, West Bythgate and I'm here to share with you my thought for the day on this Friday the 26th of March. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday and it marks the beginning of Holy Week, a very special week in the Christian calendar, recalling those final challenging days of Jesus as he journeys towards the cross. It's a week of contrasts, from the crowd's joyful shouts of Hosanna as they welcome Jesus into Jerusalem as a king, to the equally loud cries of crucify as later they call for his death. As we travel through the week recalling these events, we see the mood changing from acclamation to rejection, from triumphant joy to the darkness and the desolation of the cross on Good Friday. The religious authorities saw Jesus as a threat. He was very popular. They saw him threatening the status quo. They needed him to be gone. The crowds were wanting and expecting a Messiah, a Saviour, who would come and save them, free them. They imagined some sort of warrior king who would take charge and overthrow the authorities, freeing them from the Roman occupation. But they were soon to realise that Jesus wasn't that sort of saviour, not the sort that they wanted him to be or thought he should be. And their behaviour changed. No longer did he receive the acclaim of the crowd. Now the people were all too ready to condemn him. Our worship on Palm Sunday actually reflects this contrast, combining both triumph and tragedy. It would normally begin with a palm-waving outdoor procession, remembering Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. But sadly, that's not possible this year because of the current restrictions. Later, as we enter into church, the mood changes. The Gospel account of the Passion is read. We hear again the accounts of those last days of Jesus' earthly life. And the cross and Good Friday come sharply into focus. On Palm Sunday, it's traditional to receive a palm cross. And this combines two important elements which set the scene for the week that follows. The palm leaf that it's made of reminds us of the branches that were torn from the trees as the people welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem as they threw those branches into his path like a carpet for their king. The leaf is made into the shape of a cross reminding us where all this will eventually lead. I once heard a really interesting um, description of the shape of the cross and what it really was meaning. The vertical represents God reaching down to us. It shows us how God comes down to us, meeting us where we are. And the horizontal I like his arms outstretched to us in some form of loving embrace as he embraces the world that he created and that he came to redeem. Those palm crosses are blessed as we receive them and you are also blessed as we carry them. Reminded again of the love of God, the love that he has shown to all of us as we journey through this week of dark times towards the light and the hope that the dawn of Easter brings. Certainly over this past year, all of us to a greater and a lesser extent have experienced dark and challenging times. We've so often felt we needed to have our spirits lifted in some way and I have found this prayer from the Celtic tradition to have been very helpful for me and I'd like to share it with you. 
lift us, Lord, from darkness to light, from sickness to health, from distress to calm. Lift us, Lord, from sadness to joy, from fear to faith, from loneliness to love. Lift us, Lord, in mind and in spirit, in word and in deed, in body and in soul.